she's one of them. I knew she was gonna be one of those things, dude. Like, seriously. What's up, dudes and dudes of the internet? My name's Seth, and we are back again for some more Little Nightmares. The last episode, though short, very, very sweet. And I'm not just talking about the food that was involved. This may very well be the last level today because uh, I know that this geisha character has some part to play in the big finale of this game. Oh, that's freaky. That picture up there, it would be even scarier if it was actually, like, moving and watching us. But I think we're going to the attic of Madame uh, Milady. So it's really, like... I think we're about to get to the bottom of this. I, I don't know how much longer we actually have uh, to this series. Still an insane game though, to be sure. And I hope that you have enjoyed up to this point, everybody. I very, very much do. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. I love how she's humming her song in tune with the clock sound in the background. This looks like it's lit up for a reason, though, right? Like, we- can we open this? No, I don't think that we can. So, do we just go over here and get caught by her and that's that? Mother! Alright, so she's even deadlier than any of the others because if she sees us, it's game over. <laughs> now, I don't know how to deal with her. Because she generally just caught us, like, right away, so is, is there something that we can do, like, there's gotta be something to do with this thing right here. I'm just gonna push in all the directions. Maybe not. Maybe we just sneak by her by crouching? Or do we have to lure her? Okay, we seem to be okay? I don't know whether or not... Long, the longer we are in her presence, does she detect us? Or, or is it anything to do with that? I'm hiding under the bed, so that I can be the monster under the bed. Whew. That chick sure is freaky though. Okay, uh, they seem to generally be making this an extremely obvious vase. So, I'll do that. And then we'll hide here. Creepier than ever is the fact that I don't hear her running into the room. Unless she just knows we're here now and that's that. Now that would be, that would be terrifying if she was, uh, dead silent as a creature in this game. Okay. Okay. So that's why we're breaking the, those little statue dudes, I guess. Is she in that wardrobe and then she's going to chase us down? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I saw that, uh... That automaton thing. The, the dress that's hidden in the background there. And I thought that was her. Oh, maybe that's the point. Maybe she is these. Or camouflages with them. Right? I mean, I... Don't really know. I guess we'll just go for it. And not worry about the noise, because... The game usually does a pretty good job uh, letting us see where the character uh, or creature is exactly, right? So we probably just do this and just go for it and never mind. Yep. Okay. I don't know whether or not it's safe for us to actually put the lantern on. Oh, it's cold in here. Look, our character had fog breath, I think. Yup. Yup. She's one of them. I knew she was gonna be one of those things, dude. Like, seriously. And she's dead silent. She's a dead silent girl thing. Jeez. Okay. Is she always just going to appear? Is that just kind of what she does? Is there anything we can do? 
Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I'm assuming in this room, like, she's the statues, right? There's, there's something going on. There's a way to sneak. I guess I may as well just mess around and find out her mechanics. There's lots of eyeballs around. Okay. Ta. Do we just stay away from them? Otherwise she transforms or something? <laughs> ah, my chair. Yes. I I'm I'm really like It's so eerie and scary and I don't know what's going to happen next. Which I guess is the point, isn't it? Is there is there something? Something to this? There's something to that eyeball. Like, the camera is kind of moving up as if there is. Uh... I must have missed something. This is the most confusing room of this entire game. Like, actually. It's so big a room, I wonder if this is a boss fight? No. Okay. I don't like this, but... She gonna show up? She gonna eat my face? She's gonna show up, all right. But I don't understand what this room is about. Like, what are we doing here? We can't open any of these. Oh, look at this. Aha! It's the mirror of darkness. Or the mirror shield or something. Oh, of course it would go dead silent after we pick up the mirror. <laughs> I hope my face cam's not blocking her, but she's just standing there. Okay. What are we doing with this mirror? This is a boss fight. And we have to cast her own reflection at herself? Do it. Reflection. See yourself in the mirror. Crazy spirit. Okay, we gotta get into the light. I get it. Okay, I just realized it as it started counting down. So this is a boss fight. That's interesting. Okay, I'm probably gonna die like over and over again then. Maybe this is already even the last level. Which, I mean, it definitely set up atmosphere. But honestly, I'm quite surprised, uh, like just in general, how short it was. Like, I would have expected them to kind of throw, like, all sorts of crazy things here at us at the end. Uh, and then we would have this boss fight, right? Do I hit her with this? Yeah! Get up! Get up! Get up! Grab the mirror! Okay. 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 Where are you? Where are you? Oh, it's beautiful! I love it! Oh, this is so cool, dude! Okay, okay. Oh, this one's gonna be difficult, because which direction is she gonna show up from, huh? Right in the front or behind us? Ah! Ah! Hey, yeah! Ah! Hey! Feel the light! Was that the three strikes you're out boss fight? No, nope. there's more to it. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. No! How many hits are you gonna take? Like, seriously, I hope it doesn't take way too long. Oh! Yeah! One more hit, I'm assuming, because three is always, like, rule of three is video games. So there's gonna be one more hit here, and then that's six! Yep! Called it! I'm scared. Okay. Don't make me do that again. Oh, oh my. 
Uh, we're getting hungers. We're getting hungers and we're going to eat her? I will consume your essence once and for all and I will be the demon. The demon trapped inside. Yes, I will destroy you. Nom, 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 Are we a vampire? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. What's going on, dude? Oh, is the shadow con going into us? What's happening? I can't move or anything. Are we turning into the bad guy and the, thus the cycle repeats? Oh, okay. Um. Uh huh. Cool, but really? Is, is it over already? Unless there's like a good ending. Ooh, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Light it up! We're not moving right now. Something's happening. Okay, and this... And this is the first level that actually has a different perspective like this. Look, we are the Dark Queen! We're actually, like, all the lights are uh, being destroyed as we're going this way. And I'm guessing these characters are going to die too. Right? <laughs> Feel my power. Yes, I will consume your souls. Oh, man. This is actually really cool, dude. Yes. Die. Oh man, it's awesome! We're super powerful now! We don't gotta be scared of nothing! Yes! The world! Everything known in existence will be consumed in the darkness of my raincoat! Yes! The power... I feel like Darth Vader. Like, what is happening? What a climax. Okay, are we free now? Ooh! Give me a bonus level where I can explore the world, because that those last two levels were super short. And that's not fair. That's still cool, though. So we had to... The Ladies' Quarters. Yup, yeah, so that was already another level done in like 15 minutes, dude. And potentially the last. I want to climb up these stairs and see whether or not we get the credits. I hear those triangle dudes. Maybe now... Uh, is there a secret ending based on how many of these triangle dudes we ended up saving? Or hugging, I guess I should say? Did I hug that many of them? Or was there a lot more? I don't know. Well, see you later, character. Girl from Silent Hill, straight up. Turns to the demon at the end. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there's like a special ending or something. Was that already it? That was it, wow. Um, okay. So what do I say? Just kind of a big uh, wrap up here. Not only, like I, I still, absolutely loved this game. I recommend you play it for yourself, like seriously. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up replaying this quite a bit in my off time, just because I, I love the production, the atmosphere is insane, the sound design is great, the animation's amazing, uh, but also just the graphics of everything, like even the baby man. Did you see the cloth that was on like his uh, attire? It was insane, dude. Not to mention the, the very familiar undertones of Silent Hill, Limbo, and near the end there, like Spirited Away and just other Japanese films. Really, really stellar job. Like, they did an absolutely amazing thing here. They really did. Now, my, my one minor complaint is that it was surprisingly short. A lot shorter than I thought. Like, I was expecting five, six levels. Yeah, but these last two levels, we got through, like 
like so quick, dude. You know, like that the the big fat level, trying to avoid all the characters and stuff like that. That was awesome and it was fun. But I would have liked to see a little bit more innovation in that. Because uh, kind of it's like when you look at the whole overall arc of the game, each of the levels had a different theme. And I personally felt, even though I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, that when it got to uh, two levels ago, the level just before this final episode, it kind of felt like they ran out of ideas. You know, like I was really excited moving forward because I thought, what are they going to do next? They've already ended up using all of their card tricks. And apparently so. They did end up using all their card tricks. And then, you know, there was the level where we were just blatantly out in the open, which was fine. I would have liked to see a little bit more variation in avoiding the fat giant pig people for sure. And like I said in this episode, I would have very much enjoyed if they had that uh, lady character actually, like, a more predominant level with a finale of a boss fight, you know? It would have just been so much more emotionally gratifying, I think. I, I still am very curious what exactly our character is, and hopefully they are planning on a sequel or something like that, because otherwise, again, this game was amazing, and considering its price, like, what is it, like 20, 30 bucks or something like that? I mean, I'm Canadian, so it's, like, really expensive for me, but still, definitely worth the money. Granted, very short. Uh, very surprised how short it was, but then again, Limbo was a game that was also considerably short and was one of my all-time favorite just random side-scrolling platformer games, right? This one, again, one of my absolute favorite, but if there's one thing that I would complain about, one thing that I would say is, yeah, those last two levels needed to be somewhere around 30 to 40 minutes each, and then I would have felt a little bit more gratified, because otherwise it just kind of felt like we breezed through the last two levels there, and then it was just over, and, you know, that was it. Like, cool, don't get me wrong, the janitor was still definitely the absolute high point of the game. Like, seriously, that character, maybe just because of my own personal, like, uh, fears of uh, certain characters like that. Of course, I referenced it in that episode, but I grew up like the Steven Spielberg E.T. movie really freaked me out, and thus I was freaked out by the janitor character because he was very similar, right? Uh, once we ended up getting to the chef baby character, it felt more like the game was leaning towards survival rather than the horror aspects. And that, I think, is kind of why at this last level here, it seemed like they broke it out to 11 with suddenly the scariest monster yet, you know, absolutely silent. She can teleport all over the place and kind of possess any of the mannequins and stuff like that. But I would have loved to see that kind of, you know, drawn out a little bit more. Now, I'm going to show whatever's after the credits if there's anything. But otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Again, I'm going to put, uh, you know, whatever's at the end of the credits. But I would very much appreciate if you would like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign aura, and stay epic, everybody. Oh. Well, seems like our adventure isn't done. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making it. So does that mean that we ended up coming out of the doorway and this is where we turned up? was just at this random little factory entrance here? I don't understand. Press A to go back, is that just back to the title screen? <laughs> okay, that was confusing, but a cool little island. Yeah, and then that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody.